Hey, good morning shrimp keepers. Today I'm going to be spraying the back of this with liquid plastic black and we're going to be setting it up. So stay tuned and we'll get straight on to it. Just me and my guitar. Okay guys, we're back. First job first, we've got to um, cover the front of this, obviously so any overspray doesn't cover the front panel. It's pretty good this liquid plastic stuff because if you do actually get a bit of overspray you can quite easily just rub it off um, afterwards. So first of all we've got to get clean film. Get some clean film. Stick that all over it first, making sure we get all the way around here. Another piece. Without sticking it to yourself, if possible. You can rub all that down to the bottom. And just tuck it in around the sides. Like I said, this stuff is this isn't really that important to be honest, because of the um, because any overspray, like I said, can be quite easily removed later on. So we'll just tuck that up, all up behind there like that, and then we'll find. Masking tape. And um, we'll stick that This is awkward this Once you get a start it's not too bad then you can hold it with one hand and carry on with the other one. Just keep going all the way around. Until we reach the other side, slip it off there and join it up. Now, just where we've got to open this up now, all the way around, so we can make sure we get an even covering all the way around. That's looking pretty good so far. That'll protect anything from, uh, from any overspray. But we're going to get anywhere here. So now we get a box, stick that behind there, piece of foam, and I'll try and angle this so you can so you can see it a bit better. Bear with me guys, I'll try and pan out a bit. There you go, that looks pretty good to me. Give it a quick blow, make sure everything's, um, everything's gone off. Any little bits and little stuck on the acrylic now are, uh, have been blown off. Apart from that bit there. Oh, I think that's on the inside. I'll just use my sleeve a minute. <laughs> I 
there we go okay I don't know how that looks for you but the idea is with this spray is um, this is the stuff I use Plasti Dip fantastic stuff it is covered all sorts brilliant for the back of your tanks did a few panels on my uh, on my Land Rover Discovery with it I don't know if you've ever watched it on YouTube but it's a fantastic um, way to cover your car and if you don't like it you just peel it off check it out it's, uh, it's worth a watch I've kept this in the house now for for a couple of hours so it's up to temperature now it's still a little bit chilly out here in the shed but um, I'll pause you for a minute give this a shake up otherwise you'll be getting bored and then we'll we'll come back in a minute and we'll do some spraying see you in a minute guys okay guys we're back and as you know me first things first coffee right give this a little bit of a shake up with this stuff you've got to put a thin coat on first which doesn't look great I say my shed's quite um, it's quite ventilated in here so uh, I've got the other doors open so the wind's blowing right through I've got a small mask on only a paper one just to keep the, uh, the vapours out shouldn't really breathe this stuff in but now you've got to leave that now so that will uh, that'll key to to the acrylic and then you'll get a better coat on the next run but uh, we normally leave it about 10 minutes in between coats so I'll uh, I'll turn you off and then um, I'll get back to you in a second when, uh, when we've had a bit of drying time we'll put another coat on okay okay we're going back for coat two Yeah, once the first coat's gone on, it really does stick to it quite good after that. Just the initial coat looks a bit clear. Looks like you haven't done anything. And you can build up a nice thick layer then. This is actually a matte black, so uh, I think it looks a lot nicer than the uh, than the gloss. Right, we'll give that uh, another, some more drying time. As you can see, it's gone nice and black now. Um, I'll tip it over. What, what I found that you can do as well, you can get the old uh, trusty hair dryer out and um, and warm the surface up slightly from a distance away. That will um, that aid in the drying process. I've got two of these to do today, but I'm only going to show you guys one, as you'll be bored out of your mind watching me spraying uh, spraying these little half half ball tanks all morning so um, what I'll do is I'll cut you off again and we'll um, we'll come back in a minute which will be a split second in time for you and um, and we'll do the final coat and then we'll uh, we'll take the old, all the wrapping off then and we'll show you what it looks like okay see you in a bit okay we're gonna get in one last coat now I've just done the other one as well which is down on the floor um, give this one a last coat now and then we'll pop back in a bit and we'll take all the tapes off and you can see what they look like That spray's getting through my mask. Ugh. 
<laughs> oh, that's the last coat of that or I'm gonna be uh, flying around the shed I think I'll have to get outside <laughs> right that's the last coat just lower that down keeps it nice and flat just in case anything wants to start running I don't think it will but you can never be too careful so that will stop that okay then guys I'll um, I'll get back to you soon and um, we'll take all this wrapping off and we'll see what they look like right guys we're back in the shed I just realized I had three of these so I've, uh, I've done the other one as well <clears throat> we're gonna wait for about put me off a bit of time now because uh, having to do the other one as well but now I'm gonna uh, leave them dry now for a good hour maybe two hours and then we'll take the uh, we'll take the outside cellophane wrapping off and the masking tape and um, we'll look at the finished product so we'll get back to you shortly and we'll uh, we'll get the get these guys unwrapped okay two hours has elapsed we're back let's take some of these out of their jackets Put them safe on the floor here a minute. And we'll do one at a time. Right. Shift that out of the way. Where's the end of my tape? Let's just tear it off. found an end We're getting there guys, we're getting there. They say as this stuff lick, as it dries, it just turns to rubber. So, uh, which is fantastic because if you want to take it off at any time, Bit of heat in there, bit of mist. But there you go. Nicely done. All nicely shiny. Well, it's still got a bit of curing time. It'll go a bit more matte than that after a while. But um, I say inside. Fantastic stuff. That's number one. Put that one aside. Hopefully we can get these some these out a bit quicker than the last ones. Than the last one, sorry. Yeah, that one's coming off a little bit easier. Loads easier this one. I don't know why the other one was stuck so much. And there we go. Lovely and shiny on the inside. That's going to look absolutely lovely, that is, with some uh, plants in later on. All right, that's number two. Put that one there. The last one. Behave yourself and come off. There you go. It's nice when a plan comes together. A little bit more there. On the top. Sure, right, I'll keep going out of view for you here. I keep forgetting on filming. But there you go. That's number three.
all done. Fantastic stuff. Right. What I've got to do now is go into uh, the shrimp cupboard and um, I've got to measure up now and I've got to drill some holes in the wall, which is going to be fun. And I've got to measure up and put these two apart so I've got to get them equally distanced and um, I'll get back to you when they're um, hanging on the wall. I'm not sure you want to see me drilling holes all over the place, but uh, so I'll wait until they're hung up and then we can start putting some stuff into them later on. Right, catch up with you soon. Hey, what's happening shrimp tank people? We're back in the shrimp cupboard and I've finished two of these uh, half ball four liter aquascapes. I'll put some dwarf sword tails in this one. You're not going to believe what happened. I set everything up, tripod everything, pressed record, put all the media in, put the plants in, had a good chat about everything that was that I was doing, and I didn't press record. So that is all out the window now. So you've got to see the uh, the finished product. With some nice plants in the bottom, some let's say some little sword, some little dwarf swords, and some other ones around the back, which will grow up higher and give it a little bit of sense of depth. Water still murky from the water change from when I filled it up. I think that's going to look great with some little tiny rosy barbs in there, or some little tiny um, some harlequins or something like that. Some tiny little tetras or little galaxy rasboras would look nice as well. Maybe we should put some of them in there in a couple of weeks' time. Everything cycled. All the media in there was cycled media anyway. The stone was from another system I've got upstairs, so that's. Sort of cycle bacteria on that. So that's speeded things up. There's some snails in there already creeping around doing their work. And I'll just shake, I'll take the light over now to the other one. You can have a quick look at that one as well. This one I've done a little bit different. This one's got a little bit of um, rubbish suspended in the water as well. This one's not cleared up properly yet, but I've put some graminifolia in there. That should carpet nicely. The room runs at about 22 and a half degrees anyway, so I won't need a heater in these. And with I've put some small fish in there, maybe even put some shrimp in there later on. They'll keep the water moving around slightly. And we'll just see how they get on over the next few weeks. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little video. I do apologise that you didn't see me make the make the, the aquascapes up. I said I was going to let you see it. But obviously what I've done is there, I've just put the aqua soil in the base. And then I put the stones in on top, put in some more around the outsides of it, and put the uh, and just put the plants in, and just that's it for now. That's pretty simple, straightforward setup. Anyway, I hope you liked it. If you do like it, like, share, and subscribe. If you're new to the videos, go back and have a look at some of my, my other ones. I've got lots of other different stuff on there as well. Um, about my shrimp tanks, the shrimp cupboard, creation of it. And it's still in progress. And um, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye for now. Just me and my guitar.